Hi, I'm Chet Manley, and this is your Boulder Orientation video with a sexy twist. Welcome, future CU students, to hopefully some of the most sexual times of your life. Here in Boulder, you will have a wide array of sexual potential at your exposure. Whether it's your first date or blowing your first mate, Boulder has it all. So how about you check out some clips around Boulder? Answering a few questions uh, sure today. So, what's your name? Um, I'm Chastity. I'm Chet Manley. Chet nice Manley. to meet you. <laughs> I'm a uh, sophomore here at CU Boulder. I'm currently studying women's studies and sociology, double major. Wow, that's uh, that's pretty impressive. Yeah. What's your experience here at Boulder? What huh. do you What do you like to do? What, what is, do I like? To what do, do you like? Um, you know, I'm all into sexuality. Actually, my parents were super religious growing up, and I went to church a lot. And I came here and realized that's exactly the opposite of what I wanted to do. I'm out. Break free. Break free. That's how it is. Rebel. Um, I'm out every weekend chasing down guys. And you feel free to do that here, right? I do, entirely. And Boulder's just like such a welcoming atmosphere. And, you know, there's so many places around. My dad actually was a student here and uh, he was started the celibacy club, which obviously I pretend like I'm in. I, tell that, I told him I'm in that right now. Wow, that's a really dramatic life change. Do you uh, have anything to comment about that? Uh, other than the fact that I'm loving myself, I really couldn't hey, care less. Hey, slut! Hey, Vicky, how's it going? You yeah. know, maybe I am a bit of a yeah, slut, but I've, I've recaptured the term, and it's empowering now. Okay. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no, if my parents knew what I was doing up here, they would disown me. And my friends don't really like the lifestyle change either, but my opinion is they just don't understand. Crap, these guys have been following me all day! What? Not really sure what's going on here. Uh. Girls like that really represent what Boulder's all about. We followed up with Chastity later and we found out that she's all over the place. Hey, we're here at Chautauqua, just looking for another group of people to talk to about Boulder. I think there's some over there. Hey, how's it going, guys? Oh, hey, what's going on, man? Hi. Uh, I was wondering if I could ask you guys a few questions about, you know, Boulder and what you guys are doing. You know, I'm just trying to get a, a feel for for the town. You know? Yeah, absolutely. Awesome. Sounds great. So, where are you guys from? To start um, it off. We're Texas natives. Yeah, we moved up here years ago. It's a little colder up here. Huh? Yeah, me and my wife Meg moved here, uh, trying to get away, you know, from the real conservative political climate down south. And, you know. Course. Looking to get around some more forward thinking progressive people. We love it up here. It's definitely it's more liberal up in this building. Mm -hmm. So, how long have you guys been in Boulder since you moved from Texas? Uh, you know, about two years or so, I'd say. Nice. So, what uh, what do you like about Boulder? Why? What draws you here? Well, we're trying to start a family soon. So, we just really like how inclusive and it's a great community. There's a lot of people like us. So, you guys are clearly into the whole outdoor scene here. Is there anything else you guys are into? Well, yeah, actually, there's a uh, you know, it's a funny thing about Boulder is it's pretty close to uh, this nice BDSM dungeon that we really? uh, yeah we we frequent. It's called uh, Pavlovia down in Denver. 
How's that? Yeah, it's pretty cool. We we check it out from time to time. We we have a good time. Yeah, we like Boulder because you know it's very accepting of our lifestyle. Our vanilla friends in Texas really would never have understood. Wow, that's unexpected. Hey man, well that's what we've learned from Boulder. Don't yuck someone else's yum. So what's the nightlife here like? What do you what do you do? Well, me and my girlfriends can get into any club we want. Um, we love frozen yogurt dates. We shop mm. on the reg. It's great. <laughs> Great. Well, um, what do some of your friends think about, you uh, know? You know, most of my friends back in Texas would, would they'd probably enjoy it pretty, uh, pretty well out here. Um, there are some, mostly, mostly my black friends would probably find it a little bit more difficult to, to live out here. Just, just, you know, given the culture up here in Boulder and the, the pretty homogeneous population, if you get what I'm saying. Wow, that's some, some great insight. Is there anything else you guys would like to tell me? Ooh, um, actually, you know, we mentioned we were trying to have kids, and I'm um, on an ovulating schedule, so we have to go, like, oh, right, what, now. right yeah, now. Right now? Yeah, right now, right now. Go have some okay. sex some more! <laughs> yeah. Hey, excuse me. Hi, hi there. Oh, my. Um, <clears throat> hang on. Um, I was wondering if I could ask you guys a few questions about uh, what you guys are doing here to you. and uh, that, that would be great. What brings you here? that. That would be wonderful. Um, so what are you, what are you guys doing today? What's the plan? Well, our daughter is actually a student up here. She's a sophomore. So my wife okay. and I are just checking out the campus to see what life at CU's like. She's, she's great. I'm so proud of honey, her. Honey, honey, please, let oh, me finish. Okay, I, I, I'm actually an engineering student here, or was, back in the 80s. Sexy. <laughs> yes, it was very fun. Um, actually started the celibacy club here on campus. Celibacy club? You, uh... Do some real partying in that, or oh, what? Oh, you know it, my friend. How did you two meet, if I might ask? Oh, no problem. We actually met when we were in grad school at a church singles event, and, uh... A church singles event? Huh? Yes, we're, we're yeah. very religious. Sexy. <laughs> we raised our daughter to be very religious. She just loves church. You know, every Wednesday is a youth group to go to. So, your daughter goes here, and Boulder's known to be a, a very open and free place, oh, and yeah. you guys... Mm, look a little conservative to me. How do you feel about your daughter uh, going here? Well, I have to say, CU has changed quite a bit since I was here. And I've heard there's yeah. a quite a growing homosexual population, which oh. I'm not quite fond of, to be honest. Mm. And Frank, oh Frank, do you remember that peeping Tom experience last year? Yes, Boulder can be a very dirty place. That was a peeping Tom. I've seen five people today walking around without any shoes on. If they're taking their shoes off, what would they take off next? Oh my yes, word! Oh. Wow, um, do you know who that was? Unfortunately, that was my daughter, if you'll excuse me. Trust it! Oh, jeez. Well, that was a little awkward, but, uh, I think we got what we needed, and, uh, this interview seems to be finished with. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, hello. As you can see, not everyone is keen to our sense of, uh, morality. But in the end, Boulder is a perfect sexual destination. Whether you're checking out your SDI sites at Wardenburg or picking up a new hottie on Pearl, you will know you have made the right choice in choosing CU Boulder. Fortunately, we have to bring this to an end. If you take anything from this video, it should be that Boulder is an openly sexual place and you should be feel free to come here at any time.